Thank you, Dan. And as we cover politics this afternoon, it's a week after Election Day and President-elect Trump's new cabinet is being swiftly put together. There's word this afternoon that Louisiana's Superintendent Cade Brumley is among several people being considered by Trump to be the new Education Secretary. No decision has yet been made on that role, but as News 15's Connor Hansen shows us, at least seven positions have been filled so far for the second Trump administration. A former rival turned ally, Senator Marco Rubio, is expected to be named President-elect Trump's new Secretary of State, likely in part because as a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Rubio has taken a hard stance on countries like China. Earlier this year, the senator was considered for Trump's running mate. No candidate for president has been clearer about what they're going to do in the simplest language possible. He's going to secure the border. He's going to bring down prices for energy and other things in America. And he's going to make us strong in the world so that we don't have a war. Another Republican once considered for VP, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, is expected to be picked as Homeland Security Secretary. And former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee has been appointed as ambassador to Israel. Trump has already named two GOP representatives to key roles. Florida's Mike Waltz will be national security advisor, and New York's Elise Stefanik will be ambassador to the UN. With the balance of power still up for grabs in the House, some are wondering how many more Republicans the administration will take. Every single vote will count because if someone gets ill or has a, uh, a car accident or a, a late uh, flight on their plane, that it affects the votes on the floor. So uh, I, I think he and the administration are well in tune to that. Um, I, I, don't, I don't expect that we will have a, uh, more members leaving, but um, I'll leave that up to him. Unlike senators, House members are not replaced right away by their state's governor. Their seats remain vacant until a special election takes place. For News 15, I'm Connor Hansen.